school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, from what I've heard, it's really amazing. I haven't gotten yeah. to go to one, but thank you. Um, so, do you guys have a favorite song to perform live? Ooh. Can we go down Ooh. the line? Yeah, I guess. So. Yeah. You want go. go. I'm, no, you go. I'm a gentleman. I'm <laughs> I would have to say my favorite song is in one of our new songs called uh, "See You in the Dark," and that's one that we're actually in the studio recording right now. So. Yeah. Um, I would have to say. It's also a new song. Um, it's called The Takeover. Um, we've been doing a lot of writing in these past couple of months, preparing for the album, preparing for like the next batch of shows, preparing for our summer tour. So, um, yeah, the new songs. I mean, it's like that when that with any band you like sort of once yeah, you, you put out you a, fall new, in love yeah, with a new song. Yeah. Yeah. It's like so we're all yeah. baby and you're we're, we're amped on the new stuff. Yeah, yeah. Sure, but yeah, I'd so. say my favorite. Yeah, probably See You in the Dark is is a lot of fun to play just because. It's just high, yeah, it's high octane, you know, it's it goes and goes and goes. Driving. Probably also Who Am I Gonna Roll With is one of our favorites, too. Yeah. One of my favorites. I'm gonna say See You in the Dark also. Oh, wow. That's <laughs> that almost, almost, almost she's got like, it's just got <laughs> every element that you love, you know, about about a song, just in that one song. It's just really, you know, it's just, and it's just fun to play. It's just, it's fun as a musician and as a, you know, performer to play it, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So anything like... You've been talking about how you combine like pop and rock and urban stuff mm -hmm. together. Is there anything else that sets you guys apart from other bands? I think I'm going to go out on a limb here and, and say that our musicianship really kind of stands out. I mean, like Mike, for example, I'm just going to I'm going to call you out, Mike. Uh, you know, Mike, you know, he, he sings like crazy and just like rocking guitar. And then all of a sudden you just bust out a crazy ripping guitar solo. And I feel like there are a lot of bands out there where you know you don't have that ability in one person and, and Jay plays multiple instruments, he plays some guitars, he plays keyboards, he sings and, and Alex, you know, just high energy, high octane drums all the time. I feel like there's there's like a musicianship value and a and a and a performance value that we have that's like Yeah, I would say, I would level. say I mean that's yeah, the musicianship is obviously at a high level. I'd say also that there's a showmanship that goes along with that. Yeah. And um, it just comes from, you know, experience, you know, it, like, obviously not everybody, you know, there, you know, stage, every band I've been in, there have been stage fright issues, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's not the case not with the this case band, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And everybody's looking to put on a good show, really give, you know, all that they have on it, you know, any particular night. And, you know, that's basically how we've been going at it. You know, yeah, like we just met like 20 minutes ago, but it's obvious you guys have really good chemistry, <laughs> yeah. like yeah. just together as we're really good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we, we hang out. We spend a lot of time no, together. Right? It's, just, it's not just you yeah. know it, we have we have a good time. I think also yeah, our, I'd say another thing that sets us apart is just like the way we approach songs and songwriting. Yeah, we always that's true. We always try to we strive for the best. We we push each other and just get the best you know to our abilities of what we can write. And we're always you know. Saying, oh, that's good, but maybe there's something better, you know. Yeah, yeah. it's very, yeah, it's, it's a great, you know. Do you guys all write your own own songs? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we write everything, and you know, we really push each other, mm -hmm. and we strive for, you know, the best yeah. always. And also, I don't want to leave Andy out. You know, Andy is a tremendous musician. Also. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. he literally yeah. did not sing <laughs> at yeah. all when he came into the band, and we were just kind of like, listen, we need, you know, more harmonies, and he just mm -hmm. took. Took the challenge and ran with it like 100%. And he's just like singing ridiculous. And not, <laughs> not to mention his uh, synth based stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's playing, playing some keyboards. He's never really, really yeah. yeah. Everybody in this band it's is really like doing like. <laughs> <laughs> doing a lot of we, the it's sound like, we create, but we're doing it all our stuff. And we're, we're up there, we're doing it, we're giving it everything. We're, you know, a lot of times I'm playing guitar, I'll play the keyboards, and I'll go and I'll do this and that. And, you know, I think it adds another element in that. It's, yeah, and, and it's fun. Yeah, I mean, one of the, I mean, the, and the reason we, we don't do it just to do it, just right. to make it look oh, can, look at us play look all these instruments. Right. Yeah. No, we're really trying to get sounds that we want. Yeah, and and it's like, and that's why the the whole studio experience and you know recording right now is really cool, is because we're we're taking those elements that we've produced live, like in all those different synth parts and bass parts and guitar mm -hmm. parts. And we're bringing them back into the studio, so it's really going to be a much cl more even, you know, closer representation, right. recorded to live and vice versa. So, it's very very cool. Cool. so do you guys have any like bands or musicians musicians that have inspired you? Oh yeah, uh, yeah, tons. Um, yeah. <laughs> probably starting from like for me, like the Beatles was like the you know Paul McCartney, you know John Lennon. There, as far as songwriting wise, yeah. too, mm -hmm. just they're you know incredible, and you know Stevie Wonder was a huge influence and. You know, just uh, that's yeah. you know. Um, 
I'm like a big like Prince Michael Jackson guy. Like mm -hmm. I just love mm -hmm. I just love Thank everything you. about Prince, like his musicianship and just his <clears throat> his over the topness, like in his personality yeah. and just his dress and just like everything about him is just like to me like what an artist is about. So I just try to draw on that that a lot, you know. Definitely. Yeah. I mean like when we first started playing shows and I think this is even more the case now, like I remember after one of our shows somebody came up to us and they were like you know what, like, I was hearing you guys for the first time, and to me it just felt like Prince fronting Fall Out Boy. And, you know, like, we thought it was kind of funny at the time, but then we just started to think about it, and we were like, you know what, that's, that's, really that's a pretty good look. Yeah, like, yeah. that's yeah. not that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, I mean, and that's basically what you're, what you're going to get. Like, you are going to get that, you know, rock, you know, that Fall Out Boy style high energy show, but then, you know, you know, we can break it down and, you know, just set the mood. Yeah, we can groove we can rock yeah, it's sort of and in terms of like like more recent artists that have inspired us i think definitely like you know there is fallout boy influence there's influence from like you know from a lot of stuff that's happening now i i'm a big fan of the starting line and the all american rejects so i feel like you know that's definitely worked its way into our sound a little bit and, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, but even like Kanye West, you know, oh, yeah. so you kind of like put it all together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, we yeah. take all that. Yeah, the I mean, dream, the dream, the dream is like yeah. it's a really good. Yeah, the dream is like it's a really good. Yeah, I mean, so good. Just in the production elements and what he's doing with the sounds and the textures, it's like we try to draw on all that and you know incorporate it into what we do. You know, <laughs> basically, like in this band, like you just you live life and you just kind of like you're affected by what's around you. So mm -hmm. you know, it's like whatever's happening now, it's gonna sort of creep in in a lot of ways, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. we like a lot of music, as you can see. Yeah, I mean, we, keep listening. we love listening to music, and it's inspiring, it inspires us, and then we do our thing. So, you guys are recording right now, do you have any idea when your new album is going to be coming out? Well, we'll probably start with, uh, I mean, we're doing a, a smaller batch of songs to start, it's probably going to be a, an EP, uh, in terms of recording a full length, that remains to be seen. Yeah, Yeah. I mean, we're shooting for like mid-April to have this batch of songs done, we're going to yeah. have it up on iTunes and for sale, like on our MySpace and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's, that's the target yeah. date right now. But any you record labels out there? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we want to record put a full length. I mean, TBD at this point. But it's, <laughs> but we got, are expensive. So yeah. Expensive. <laughs> but these songs are, I think, they're really going to be a statement that we're making, which is, you know, this is what we represent. We're going to be like, this is us, you know. Yeah. This is us. Not like, you know, this is sort of us. No. This is it. So mm -hmm. it's exciting for us. So thank you guys for thank being you. here thank with you. us. Thank you. Um, be sure to check them out. Be sure to check them out on MySpace, myspace.com slash honor society. And be sure to go to one of their shows sometime. They have their schedule on their MySpace. Be sure to check them out. That's right. Don't miss we'll it. see you at the show. <laughs> can I mention one more thing? Yeah. Like, oh, maybe yeah. you can like, edit it. <laughs> work this in. Yeah. We're, I'm going to talk to the camera right now. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it in. This, Bring this, it is, in. this is important because we get asked on our MySpace every day, can you come to Ohio? Can you come to Florida? Can you come to Pennsylvania? Wherever. Kentucky. And California. we were talking before the interview about the luxurious Volvo station wagon that Alex drives. <laughs> and that's great. But we're part of a contest right now called Famecast. And what Famecast is, it's kind of an American Idol format for bands. And we're... Um, we basically have made it from 600 bands to we're currently ranked number one out of the top 10. Mm -hmm. So That's if great. we win that, um, there's a cash prize that we would reinvest right into some touring, transportation, and, and things like we're that. We're just saying so, possibly, let me, abandon trailer. <laughs> abandon trailer. So it's really, for all of, you know, for all of, you know, everyone out there listening, you guys too, just please vote for us at famecast.com slash honor society. Thank you. There and then is. we can come to your town. And then yeah. we and then we will come to your town. Absolutely. Yeah. That sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, everyone make sure you vote because I want them to come to my town. Yeah, so I'm going to be voting. So. There, go. there you go. All right. All right. See you later. Yippee, skippy. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.